right guys good morning YouTube people world everywhere wherever so project crack pipe I don't think I'll be doing anything to it today mainly because I gotta get ready to go to work tomorrow morning so <coughs> excuse me the video will just be what's going to happen my next off cycle so my next off cycle I'm going to tear that front end apart that front end and cab coming off that truck right there you know what I mean <coughs> so got to pull the front end off the whole front clip um got to figure out I've been screwing with this stupid uh, fan and relay and wiring and uh, <clears throat> it didn't come with a wiring diagram or nothing but I've checked a bunch <clears throat> so I know you're supposed to have ignition uh, a wire going to ignition a uh, wire going to the battery so the red wire that's on there is battery fuse uh, relay and then the white wire is supposed to be ignition but I just had it running direct to see if the relay and anything even worked and then they have the ground and the ground is right there comes out goes right there and then they have the blue wire blue wire goes to the fan well they gave me a temp sensor but I don't know where that temp sensor what wire which wire goes to the temp sensor <clears throat> and I was told that it's a ground you're supposed to just run it to the ground or you run it from up here to the ground and the relay um, but it doesn't make sense I've wired it different ways I've taken the relay wires out swept up flipped them around twisted them around put the power on 30 I've done all kinds of junk and I can't figure it out so <clears throat> it's either a bad temperature switch or this is just such a hokey cheap kit that uh, it's not meant maybe it's meant for like a uh, lights and not meant for <sighs> a fan maybe this relay is a four wire relay maybe it's not meant for a fan because you got one wire going to the fan the other wire from the fan going to the ground black wire going to the ground it just doesn't make sense to me anyway so yeah when I get back next half I'm gonna buy some wire loom some wire loom uh, <clears throat> I do have something in, something in that area coming, right in this area, could be this, could be that, it could be this, but more than likely it's that. Anyway, I ordered some headers, I had 50 something dollars in eBay bucks, and I found a set of headers, um, ceramic coated headers. <clears throat> is what that thing said on eBay and uh, 73 bucks and I uh, ended up getting them for 20 21 bucks or something like that 22 bucks <clears throat> so ordered those I'll have to make my own Y pipe I'll have to make my own pipe that goes from there to there and then back um, because of the whole four-wheel drive and transfer case and all the other junk. But once I get under there, once I get the cab off, that's when I'll do it. That's when I'll put everything on there. Because uh, I'll have access to everything. So, <clears throat> um, that's my plans for when I get back. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I have a couple projects I want to do. Um, I got these exhaust clamps that I've 
had for, I don't know, four or five months now <clears throat> in this box for the for the truck. Had these clamps for a while. I want to put those on because I want to get rid of the other clamps <clears throat> before it becomes rainy season. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to put those on and I also want to because uh, yesterday there was a fire probably about 30 something miles away from where we're at. <clears throat> so I kind of want to get the tires on the toy hauler. Which is why I bought the tire irons. These tire irons. Right here. Um, 24 inch general purpose tire irons. So I kind of want to uh, change those tires. So just in case we do have to evacuate. Just in case the fires. Because fire season's. In the works, just in case uh, the wife and kid they can just hook up the truck and the trailer, and uh, <clears throat> and haul Bud out of here. So I want it to be ready. Plus, tires only last so many years, anyways. Supposedly, no matter if they're indoors, outdoors, sun, not sun. Um, but anyway, so I might do that today. I might not. But for the meantime. I will definitely be cleaning up some tools. I got a lot of tools I gotta clean up. All this junk. So, anyway, just a quick, short little video of uh, what's what's on the table for my next off cycle. But, alright guys, that's gonna be it. Um, like always, subscribe. Hit 2,000 subscribers. You get the win. Whatever size you want of this stall bus oil drain valve. Um, it's a really neat little invention. I got one on my Audi. And I got one on my Dodge. And uh, I'll probably order one for the wife's car. But her car goes like two years before it needs an oil change. So it's not really practical for her car. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Go Go find that video, giveaway, stall bus, uh, oil drain plug, whatever you, whatever it's called. Go find that video in the playlist. Playlist should be in their uh, giveaways. And, uh, yeah, subscribe, comment in there what size you need, what size you want. Um, <clears throat> uh, year, make, model, and engine size of, that it's going on so I can double check. Um, but mostly I just need this, need you to comment, subscribe and comment what size you need. If you don't want to give me the year make model, in case you're working on a project, like, uh, if you're working on this, it's not going to be a 64 Chevy. Obviously it's going to be a 91 Chevy because it's a 91 Chevy chassis. So anyway, mainly just want the size M18 by 1.5, half inch by... 20. I don't know what what standards are, but anyway, just go there and comment. All right, guys, it's gonna be it. I gotta go. I gotta get stuff done. Subscribe. 2,000 subscribers, giving that away. And once I get to maybe 3,000 subscribers, I'll give some more stuff away. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.